In this video, we'll balance the equation Fe3O4 plus CO. Let's add the atoms up on each side of the equation. On the reactant side, we have three irons, four oxygens, plus we have the one oxygen here. So we have five oxygens and we have the one carbon. Product side, we have one iron, two oxygens, and then we have one carbon. Let's leave the iron to last because whatever we end up with here, we'll just put that in front of the Fe. It's all by itself. Carbons are balanced, so we're kind of left with figuring out what we can do with the oxygens. Let's just get the oxygens to an even number, and that should help us out. So we could put a 2 in front of the CO. Let's update the oxygens here. So we have 4 oxygens, plus we have the 1 times the 2. That gives us 2 oxygens. So we have 6 oxygens. So we could resolve that on the other side fairly easily. But the 2 applies to everything, so 1 times 2. We also have two carbons. So this represents a bit of a challenge. I can put a three in front of the CO2. So two times three, that gives me those six oxygens. Those are balanced. But one times the three, now I have three carbons. So I'm kind of back to where I was having an odd number here. So maybe the two doesn't work. So I'm actually going to get rid of the two and the three and try something else. So we're back where we started. I'm thinking if I put a four in front of the CO, that would give me one times four. That gives me four carbons, that's an even number. And let's update our oxygens here. I'd have the four plus the one times the four, that would give me eight oxygens. So now I have even numbers. And if I multiply the CO2, I need eight oxygens. So if I put a four in front of the CO2, 2 times 4, that gives me 8. Those are balanced. And then 1 times the 4, that'll give me 4 carbons. And the carbons are balanced. And we said we could just put a 3 in front of the Fe. 1 times 3, that would give us 3 irons. So this equation is balanced. And this was not an easy equation to balance. I had to kind of experiment with these numbers here to get to an even number for both the oxygen and the carbon. And then it just worked out. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Fe3O4 plus CO. Thanks for watching.